This is question 4 from paper 1 of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Maths exam. We're given part of a graph. We're told it's a cosine function multiplied by p, the angles multiplied by q, r is added on at the end. We don't know what these numbers are and we have to deduce what these numbers are from the graph. Write down the values of p, q and r. So before we do that, let's have a look at an animation. So here's a graph of y equals p cos qx plus r. And it's set so that p is 1, q is 1, and r is 0. In other words, it's 1 cos 1x plus 0. That's just cosine of x. And let's check that. Yes, it comes up to a maximum of 1, down to a value of 0 at pi upon 2, negative 1 at pi, back up to 0, 3 pi upon 2, and back up to 1 at 2 pi. And it continues. That cycle continues. So that's the cosine of x. Now let's see what happens when we adjust this number at the front of cosine. We'll have it as 1 cos x. Let's increase it. We can see that the amplitude of the graph has increased. And if we're faced with a graph like this and we're wanting to know what the amplitude is, we look at the maximum, in this case it's 3, we look at the minimum, in this case it's minus 3, and that's a gap of 6. Half of that's 3. The amplitude's half of the difference between the maximum and the minimum of the function. It's basically how far above and how far below does it go up compared to this mean value line, the middle line. So that's the effect of multiplying by a number at the front. It affects the amplitude of the graph. Let's now look at the effect of multiplying the angle by a number. Let's increase that. It's at 1x just now, the angle. Let's increase the coefficient of x, the number we're multiplying x by. And look at the graph. The number of cycles is increasing. If I stop at 4x, here's the graph of cos 4x, and count the number of cycles between 0 and 2 pi. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4. That number q counts the number of cycles that we have in a normal 0 to 2 pi range. So 4 cycles, 5 cycles, Q is 6, we have 6 cycles. If Q is a half, we've got half of a cycle. So the number Q multiplying the angle tells us the number of cycles in a range 0 to 2 pi. And the last number we've got is this plus R at the end. Let's increase that. The whole graph moves up, all the values of this function are increased, in this case, by 2. And referring back to what I was saying about amplitude, if we look at the maximum just now, it's 3, the minimum is 1. That's a gap of 2. Half of that 1 is the amplitude. So the amplitude of this graph is still 1. If you take a mean value line, which is passing through, it's y equals 2, it's passing through y equals 2, then this graph still moves up one unit and down one unit compared to that mean value line. So the amplitude is still 1, uh, but we have moved all the values up to. And if the value of r goes negative, the whole graph moves down. So this r at the end just tells you how far above or below uh, the x-axis the original graph has moved. So that's the effect of changing each of these individual values, p, q and r. So let's go back to the question now. So here's the graph that's given to us. Now remember the, val the letter at the front, p, tells us the amplitude. If we look at the graph we've got, Maximum is 4, minimum is negative 2. So the whole range of values goes from negative 2 up to 4. And that's a range of values of 6. Half of that is 3. So the amplitude is 3. 
if we take a middle line, a mean value there, this graph moves three above that, three below that. That's actually y equals one, that mean line. So the amplitude is equal to three. So p is equal to three. The number q coefficient of x, the angle, number multiplying the angle, that tells us the number of cycles from 0 to 2 pi. Now, from 0 to pi upon 2, we have one complete cycle. Another cycle would happen between 0, uh, between pi upon 2 and pi, and yet another cycle would happen between pi and 3 pi upon 2, and a fourth cycle would occur between 3 pi upon 2 and 2 pi. So we've got four cycles. Q is equal to four. That's the number of cycles from zero to two pi. So P is three, Q is four. And finally R, this is how far up or down has an original cosine graph gone. The original cosine graph, the mean line would have been the x-axis, we've actually moved that mean line up 1. So r would be 1. Cosine graph moved up 1 unit. So r equals 1. So there's our values. p is 3, q is 4, and r equals 1.